is August 24, 24. Yesterday on August 23, 24. Okay. Up in Akron. I had some people say stuff. And when I went to leave my clients off in the distance, some guys like, we seen who was pretending to be that guy that was over all this. It was that idiot impersonating him. Nobody thought it was funny. It was him impersonating him. So it was Pete with a voice alternator being gay again. Impersonating people. Hmm? And he had told everyone that she was weird with herself and no one was allowed to date her. And how ugly she was. And they seen her. And she's actually pretty. And she's dating some older guy. And it's not funny. So since when. Do you let a drug dealer. Tell you what to do. You are a grown ass man. A grown ass man. A US citizen. Free. And a drug dealer tells you. You can't ask somebody out. That's your own damn fault. And I was never weird with myself. He photoshopped a shower scene. I'm watching. The police already know that. Feminine wipes above the toilet in the other room of wiping. Race people out of the room. His jackass men that work for him. Laugh in my face in front of the FBI and the police. Hmm? Confessed to everything. Drug me and told me to say stuff. Beat and rape me. Ran a big drug scam here. And you're a free U.S. citizen, a grown-ass man. And some drug dealer said, oh, you're not allowed to ask that girl. You're like, uh, okay. You guys act like puppets and mindless boobs. Hmm? Puppets and mindless boobs. Because Pete and his men want you to think they can be hired to break in your home. That they can cyber stalk you. That cyber stalking is not illegal. That they can break in and stab you with date rape drugs. Tell you to say something stupid so you're so stoned out of your mind you don't know what you're saying or doing. Wake up with bruises, infected, throwing up, headache, almost passing out. Hmm? And here you've been drugged up and told to say stuff, beat and rape. That they can do this to any woman in the United States. And it's okay. It's okay. Hmm? They can sell kitty porn of little kids going potty. They can sex traffic videos <clears throat> of people using the bathroom showering on the internet and sell them on porn sites. That he can leave victims behind and not get in trouble. Huh? And you people are like, they can do this? No, they can't. The so-called that they weren't arrested the first day, that's where other investigators, that agent was to arrest them the first day and get her out of here. And we found out he knew she was being drug beat and raped. And he still didn't arrest her. They have made the excuse that they want Pete's boss. It's been six years, so they're not going to get him. Not off this. Hmm? Because they don't believe where Pete confessed to everything, that he has money to pay for all this. It costs millions and millions of dollars. But the human traffickers sold how many thousands of women and children out of Ohio? Hmm? You know they get like 20, 25 grand or more per person? Like my friend from the Stark County uh, Prosecutor's Office. It's a billion dollar business a year. Selling people for sex slaves to be murdered or body parts. It's a billion dollar a year business. That's what these people are doing. And then they're running. The racketeering is drugs, rapes, rape, threats, and the attempt to extortion under it. So what were they supposed to be arrested for? Racketeering. Sextortions, photoshopping, and washing. 
drug confessions. What were they supposed to be arrested for? Attempted murder, kidnapping, drugs, racketeering, extortion, huh? Human trafficking, where you let other people rape somebody, huh? Kitty porn on my grandkids going potty. Sex trafficking videos of everybody who's in the bathroom. They were to be nailed by federal law to that agent's desk. And that agent acted like a crazy call person going around telling everyone that I called the FBI hotline. Act like he's going along with it in front of the police. Telling them. Admitted on a recorded line that he met with everybody before me. Told them. Boys laughs at me. Even about this guy named Pete. How he's framing me. The rapist I've never met. That's still stalking me. He's very dangerous. And I want you people to realize how dangerous he is. He's a serial, like I said, he's a serial rapist that did this. And that agent didn't arrest him. He didn't arrest him. Think about this. They, are, they got over a thousand bad guys. You know how on TV, where I call it a nationwide human trafficking scam? They'll call it nationwide human trafficking scam. And uh, Hartville Akron, we all know her case is a nationwide human trafficking scam. Well, on TV, FBI calls it countrywide. That's a little bit of plagiarism, FBI, but I don't care. They changed one word. We were here in Ohio. We were a big piece of it. You know what's funny? I see it on Google. Up in Detroit, Michigan, they arrested a whole bunch of people for wiretapping. That's where they make like copies of your cell phone and cyber stock you. And they said their scam went bad. There was Michigan drug dealers here. They had a copy of my phone for, I called the FBI. They're outside mocking me. The men in the, okay. Where I lived on John Thomas Road, the uh, next house over was a duplex. There's an old lady on my side and a group of men on the other side. Find out who rented it. Cause they had a copy of my phone for I called the FBI. It's illegal. Very illegal. Because what's he saw? It's child support. Where I was keeping notes under me. And a crossword puzzle. So if Dave opened up a black jibber jabber. Yeah, those guys up in Akron. She uploaded where she never caught her husband with another woman. And he admitted there wasn't one in her home. Nobody thought this was funny. It should be uh, December 19th. Around that time was it uh, when they showed up and had a group of men show up in Maslin and Wendy's. Screaming at me, I better get my jewelry back while I was holding my brand new granddaughter. seeing the baby's life and showing up and yeah they're shiny stones and that was a brand new baby they gave it back getting things out of beer and grass is extortion that type of murder is racketeer so I want you to think about that now the police and the FBI all knew I never had I never had caught Dave with another woman in my home since 18. And you do realize by Thanksgiving of 18, where I called up, yeah, I had police following everyone around. Those two young guys that sort of remind you of my son Joshy, they're actually FBI agents. They're the ones in Walmart 62 after Thanksgiving of 18. Uh, an illegally bugged house 
uh, the kids were playing boo. I went down and uh, because they want to scare everybody, take each person down, they jump out, yell, ah, but they're like five to eight years old, so just to entertain them, okay. Um, I go to back upstairs on the third step up. The house wasn't meant for grandma, it was meant for Auntie Xiao and Papa. Okay, look, step back down there, all three in a huddle laugh, and saying crazy crap. I go up and sit down next to Dixie and the baby in the living room. And I thought I have to die for a shell. Flora, my granddaughter, comes running up there saying mean things in the basement. She's like, stay out of it. In a legally booked house, I walk up to everybody at the table. I asked my oldest, John, what's going on? I don't know. I told Melissa that you're going to be moving out, going through a divorce. She'll have the kids make up uh, something. But trust me, Mom, no one could say anything bad about you. I said, well, you shouldn't have said something. Well, I did. I told them you're going through a divorce. You're going to be moving out. And um, she'll just make up, have the kids make up something. But trust me. Nobody could say anything bad about you. She probably have the church people make up something too. But trust me, nobody could ever say anything bad about you. Go to Dave within a few days. I said, I've never hurt anyone. He said, uh, Karen, you're good to the kids. You go to the grandkids. You wouldn't hurt anyone. You're good to everyone, no matter who it is. Those two agents show up at Walmart <clears throat> with a bunch of police officers. Why are they having those kids make all that shit up? Oh, they're just trying to scare her out of the house. We interviewed her whole family. They spoke very highly of her. They were the same ones. June 20th to July 4th of 21. What are these people talking about? We interviewed her whole family a long time ago. She's never heard anyone. Girls that date the drug dealers. Oh my goodness, the boys had a drugger to make her say that stuff. Nobody mentions those tapes again. They were the same ones. March 23rd, 23, we told these people, stay out of it. We have interviewed her whole family a long time ago. She's never heard anyone, and nobody's ever seen anything. And it's just some woman trying to make money out of it. Some drug cartel. Okay? All right. Flora ratted them out to a bunch of dolls October 23rd, 2019. Of course, it never happened. Of course, it wasn't true. We made it up. They were games of pretend laughing. Okay? My whole family defended me. I went to everyone. They had already did it. By October, November of 18, I had went to Altman Family Physicians. The cops are in the back. Probably one of those feds, too. What did they say? You always blame the steroids. But it was a medication that you were on that made you sick before. It made everything swell up and quit working. It's a good thing you got off and got on pain medicine and got out moving. Some medicine making you sick. Okay. They knew before Christmas of 18 that I had never heard anybody. Nobody's ever seen anything. And it was a medicine making me sick. And I, ne I never caught Dave with anybody in my home. That's how not funny this is. And these people keep trying to whole stuff. That's where those two idiots that work for the drug cartel can we try, wait and try to get it or later? Probably not. Well, they keep trying. The government sealed my criminal record. I don't have a criminal record. I died laughing. I have one traffic ticket. From 1989 paid my ticket. It was 35 years ago. They sealed that damn ticket. None of your business. I was found innocent of everything in 18. That's how stupid all this is. I'm gonna upload this.